Hi, welcome to AmbleSmith.com and today I'm going to introduce you to the Forster <clears throat> Appelt Bullet Puller. Uh, this is an older model and I've had some trouble with it over the years but it works. And what you're going to need to make this thing work a little easier is you're going to need a large crescent wrench and in my case I'm going to need some vice grips. And the reason why I have to use vice grips is the threaded portion here got stripped, so I had to grab this thing with the, with the vice grips to tighten it up. You're also going to need a rubber mallet or a piece of wood. And to make things go a little smoother, you want to use some white lithium grease. So let's get started. Okay, the way this thing works is. These little collets get dropped inside of here. And when you tighten this down on top of it, it squeezes it around the bullet like this. And then when you pull the bullet back down from the downstroke, it pops the bullet out. Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it takes two tries to do it. Well, one of the things I've noticed is sometimes the whole thing will get stuck together. It's not a bad thing, you just kind of got to take it apart every once in a while. And one of the ways to alleviate that is to take some white lithium grease and apply it right down here on this part here that grabs inside of there. That's where it galls and that's where it gets held up. So drop it, call it down, and just start this just like that. Now for today's class, we're going to pull a bullet from a 308. Now they come in different calibers. I have a 22 caliber and a 30 caliber I just put in here and I have a 358 caliber which will also pull 357 in and sometimes it'll do 9 millimeters, sometimes it won't. And we'll try that too. So I'm going to show you how to get it set up right and what to look for. One of the things about this die is this indexing nut right here doesn't have a set screw in it and you really don't need it. But you just get it started. And you don't want it you know, to go all the way down. You want it about midway, say right about here. In order for this thing to really work and to avoid any aggravation, you want to torque this down so the die and the press and the collar are all bound together holding it steady so when you when you tighten down on the collar the whole die doesn't turn cause you a headache just, you don't have to cone in this thing on here you just gotta give it a little like that and it's set go ahead insert your shell holder and in my case, I have to use a pair of vice grips on this thing. Like I said, this thing got stripped. So, I'm ready. Now that we got the show holder in here, all we have to do is begin the process. Just run the bullet up you'll feel it stop. Now some interesting things I want to show you on here and I need to change the camera angle here. Okay, I want you to take a look at the arm on the press and when I turn this you don't want this thing already tight. It's going to tighten itself and what happens is the bullet will stop right at the mouth of the case which is nice so you don't end up crushing the mouth of the case and trying to rip the neck off. So all I'm going to do is when I t tighten this and it's clockwise, I want you to notice that when I tighten this up, this arm will start to go down, a l will go up a little bit, and the the press ram will start to go down a tiny bit, and that's when the collet is being f forced down in the die and squeezed together around the bearing surface of the bullet. Watch here. See that? And 
And if it doesn't grab, that means that the die is um, too far up. So all we need to do, since it won't grab, is move the die down a little further.